Hi, my name is Ken Gaines, Portfolio Advisor for Digital Industries here at City and Guilds. I'm going to introduce you to the Sample Curriculum Plan for the Level 3 Advanced Technical Certificate in Digital Technology. Looking at the Sample Curriculum Plan, you'll see the three terms shown in red, blue and green. The purpose of this Sample Academic Planner is to highlight the key dates to enable you to prepare your learners for their final assessments. It provides an example for delivery designed to fully prepare learners for the practical end synoptic assessment and the knowledge test. The synoptic practical assessment and knowledge test will include coverage from all the units as they are all mandatory. To assist you in planning your schemes of work, you will find examples for each of the units on the qualification webpage. Looking now at the academic planner, you will see we have grouped units together as you no longer have to teach and test each unit so it is now possible to teach more holistically, though the project management and collection and analysis of data will be recurring themes throughout the whole program. To get your learners active and gaining confidence from day one, we would suggest that the combination of project management and software development fundamentals will enable the learning through the production of practical work. Planning software developments and test points is equally as important as the end products, so this stops them just hitting the keyboard. For those centres using the Tech Back model, we would also recommend that Skill Zone is introduced during this term. And for those that will undertake the extended project qualification, it would be useful to begin outlining what is involved. Following some formative assessment in week six, we would suggest they now look at networks and information security, which is important for them to understand regardless of their future career path. Understanding how a network is set up will help software developers understand how their product will be deployed and issues that they may need to overcome. Information security is fundamental to everything that now happens in the digital space. From own personal security to ensuring networks and their systems are not vulnerable to attack. Underpinning this work, you can use the workplace skills to help develop communication skills, working in a team, digital literacy, logical thinking, and problem solving. In week 12, We've shown digital business communication and enterprise technologies as possible combination as these units complement each other, looking at communication as part of a business and the wider aspects of public communication through social media and advertising. The suggested second round of assessment in week 11, combined with the results from week six, should now be giving you an idea of how to rank your learners on their practical skills. A more formal formative assessment might be advisable in week 16 using the sample project and test provided. While collection and analysis of data is showing a starting delivery from week 15, the learners will have been doing some of this as part of the first three sets of learning. Data for software development, timescales for project management, requirements for information security, and reviewing of communications and best use of enterprise technologies. This should be more of a revision program and refer back to the previous activities. The learners should still be working on their work skills and project if doing the full tech back with a view to complete formal teaching by week 18 when the end assessment synoptic project is released. Around this time we would also suggest that work experience is undertaken or finalised to help plan synoptic project work and prepare for the final online end test. The learner now has 12 weeks to complete the synoptic project and begin revision for the external set and mark test that will be available in week 26. Weeks 27 to 29 allow the learner to complete and prepare their project work for submission. Any issues can be reviewed during this period and must be finalised in week 30. In addition, those doing the extended project qualification should be completing any work for this during this period. In week 31, you will be notified of the results from the test and should have submitted the learner's project work. Where learners now have been unsuccessful in the test, there is a two week revision period before the resit is available. Week 35 will see the completion of the program and final extended project qualification submissions. City and Guilds will then release the final results with grades in week 36. Thank you for taking time to watch this video. If you would like any further information, please contact me or your business manager, or you will find more information on our website, www.cityandguilds.com forward slash techback. Thank you.